which is the worst single decision in history ever made by a person. Mao Zedong. Pest campaign. He basically told his nation to take pots and pans to kill all the sparrows. However. The ecosystem was disturbed and the locust population skyrocketed. Seeds. He thought that planting seeds one meter in the ground would result in greater roots and better harvest. He also thought that putting tons of seeds in one compact area would cause a better harvest. All the seeds died however. Around 30 million or so died from famine under his rule. Hey. Look at the other nations industrializing. Let's smelt all our metal to build better infrastructure. What? It creates pig iron which is super unstable and impure therefore being ultimately useless? Oops. The decision by the Scottish to invade England during Black Death must be up there. Now you see me sequel not being called now you don't. Eastman Kodak deciding not to go forward with their own newly invented digital cameras and instead sticking with film because it made them so much money at the time. Hong Zikwen declared the Taiping Rebellion after he had a nervous breakdown from failing the imperial examinations. He proclaimed that he was the brother of Jesus Christ. 20-30 million people died. My great great grandfather. A carpenter. Did some work for a poor painter in the neighborhood. The painter had no money. So he offered either a bottle of wine or a painting. My great great grandfather chose the wine. The painter was Edward Munch. And the painting would have been worth millions upon millions today. Or even just a few decades later, if translated to today's money. Edit. Reply to the first guy who pointed it out. True. Doesn't really qualify. I guess what makes a decision really bad is when you should be able to see the consequences. Maybe the worst business decision ever made was by Xerox with their Alto computer. Xerox invented the graphical interface modern computers use. Desktop. Folders. Copy paste etc. They basically invented the modern computer in the 70s. But the problem was. The people in charge at the time were businessmen without any technical knowledge so they didn't realize what they had. They did nothing with it and gave it away to universities and showed other companies. The famous story is that Steve Jobs saw this and within 5 minutes realized this was the way computers would work in the future. He copied it. Because Xerox didn't patent their invention and didn't do anything with it and the rest is history. Xerox could have been Apple or Microsoft. Or both. They could have had a monopoly on the entire PC industry. Almost every company uses Windows in their offices. I think 80 or 90% of consumers uses Windows. That could have been Xerox. They had the tech maybe 10 years before anyone else. They could have been the most valuable company of all time but they just gave it away. Not the worst in the world but apparently my family owned a little town west of Kent, UK. That one time Nintendo had a partnership with Sony to develop a CD based console but in the end changed their mind and kicked Sony out cause they decided to stick with cartridges. Sony then thought screw this. We'll make our own console. With blackjack and hookers and created the PlayStation as a FCKU towards Nintendo. Hey. Let's create a coffee machine that uses a single use plastic cup for every cup of coffee or tea. How bad can the trash from that really be? I actually read that the creator of the K-Cup. John Sylvan. Regrets inventing the pod system. Also the AIDS was considered a traitor in Athens for leading his men to death. A traitor in Sparta because he got the queen to cheat on the king with him and a traitor in Persia after including them in a war. Edit. So I did a little bit of info and the switching sides and stealing statues dicks are also true plus he is a bizzle. Yeah but he got away with it and had fun. Well. Having just watched Chernobyl. Alright gentlemen we've successfully fended off the Greeks for 10 years. Our great city of Troy still stands. If we keep this up surely they will realize the siege is fruitless and return home before long. The Donner Party of 90 pioneers choosing to take a shortcut when heading west from Illinois to California in 1846. Said shortcut led to them getting trapped in the Sierra Nevada mountains and resorting to cannibalism. 
the Donner Party stupidity chose to, to take a shortcut that was sold to them by a con man over the strenuous objections of serious and thoughtful pioneer guides. History repeats itself. Gerald Ratner talking shti about his own business. He was ousted and the firm almost collapsed before restructuring and rebranding. Thomas Midgley Jr. can lay claim to three. First, he discovered and helped popularize the use of lead in petrol gasoline. Causing unimaginable harm to the atmosphere and our brains. He contracted lead poisoning when working on the project. But apparently neglected to draw any conclusions from this. Second. He lead the team that discovered Freon. The first chlorofluorocarbon. And helped popularize the use of CFCs in refrigeration and industrial applications. Causing further unimaginable harm to the atmosphere. It suggested that he had a greater impact on the atmosphere than any other single person in history. As for the third. Well. Straight from Wikipedia. In 1940. At the age of 51. Midgley contracted poliomyelitis. Which left him severely disabled. He devised an elaborate system of ropes and pulleys to lift himself out of bed. In 1944. He became entangled in the device and died of strangulation. Brutus decided to join Cassius in murdering the dictatorial tyrant. Caesar. The reason? They suspected his intent to become a king. Which then started a chain of events leading to his adopted son Caesar becoming a military dictator without equal. Having all the powers of a king without being called one. When this Caesar Augustus dies. His name and title is passed on for the next 400 years almost like you would a crown. Monarchies then returned all over Europe. In the style of Augustus Caesar. And so. The decision of Brutus to join the conspiracy in effect changed all of western civilization for the next 1900 years to adopt the very political style he wanted to avoid. It would not be until the 1770s when America and later France would begin revolting and experimenting with democracies and republics. Mao Zedong's revolutionary campaign The Great Leap Forward resulting in millions of people starving to death. Mao's Great Leap Down the Staircase. Whoever said the world's biggest MMO runescape should remove the wilderness and free trade. They threw a literal fortune down the drain just because they didn't understand their own product. Let's invade Russia must somewhere up the list. Twice. Going up against a Sicilian when death is on the line. Either the great leap forward or the time I had gas station sushi. Nokia. Yes so this phone will kill you what? Developed first smartphone way before Apple. But did not believe them to be the future. Hitler. Who wants to fight a two front war? The first human by deciding to not live in a tree. And honestly. I'm still not entirely sold on this whole leaving the oceans thing. Jessica Biel not naming her child Batmo. Batmo Timberlake. Anatoly Dyatlov making sure with every step. That reactor 4 at Chernobyl exploded in 1986. Murdoch double crossing Rambo. Obviously. Stealing John Wick's car and killing his dog. 299 total kills and counting. 2005. When Bill Murray ate that gas station egg salad sandwich. Gavrilo Princip shooting Archduke Franz Ferdinand. On that day. A man acted upon his self-constructed vendetta against a non-tyrannical monarch. Thinking the world would remember him as a symbol against foreign tyranny. A symbol of national sovereignty. A year later. 10 million men were dead. Guy who made Google Plus. Google Plus wasn't really that bad. I liked it more than Facebook and it was great for posting my travel photos. The problem with it was that they couldn't get enough people to use it. Which was really their own fault by making it invite only initially. In the beginning the universe was created. This has made a lot of people very angry and been widely regarded as a bad move. Blockbuster not buying Netflix. We're still working on this decision on letting the planet rot. But it will be one of the worst decisions. M. 
some British guy signing a treaty saying Hong Kong belongs to the British then calling it as good as forever. The guy who rejected Hitler's Art Academy application? The priest who chose to save 4 year old Hitler from drowning? Invading Russia. Always invading Russia. Unless you're the Mongols. Two terrible decisions for the price of one. The British gave Native Americans blankets diseased with smallpox to thin out their ranks during the French and Indian War. They didn't anticipate just how deadly this would be. Some tribes losing as much as 90% of their number due to the epidemic. When Edward Jenner invented the smallpox vaccine. Britain made fast allies by exporting it out to the world. Some of those shipments were to be sent to the United States. With the intention of helping both the colonial American populace and the Native American populace. Only problem was that the colonials and the natives were having a bit of a war for the West at the time. The US Army took the vaccines hostage. With the intention of letting more natives die. Until they gave up and moved into the reservations the US Army had built for them. Native Americans just can't catch a break at all. Hitler's art instructor rejecting him. Ice town cost ice clown his town crown. Game of Thrones season 8. Henry Tande who supposedly spared Adolf Hitler's life during the war. The story is set on the 28th of September 1918. While Tande was serving with the 5th Duke of Wellington's regiment. And relates that a weary German soldier wandered into Tande's line of fire. The enemy soldier was wounded and did not even attempt to raise his own rifle. Tande chose not to shoot. The German soldier saw him lower his rifle and nodded his thanks before wandering off. That soldier is purported to have been Adolf Hitler. This isn't a bad decision. In fact it's an inherently noble and human decision. I get the sentiments that obviously killing Hitler would have changed history but people can't keep posting times Hitler might have been spared as bad decision when he was a child younger man. Same as above saying the priest who saved him from drowning. Dude was 4 years old. Yes it was a good decision to save a 4 year old from drowning. That soldier? Britney Spears dumping JT to hook up with Kevin Federline. Monumental FCK up. This is edgy. But here you go. The decision of caste based reservation system of India. We don't say the name. I am totally not proud of India country for this. 8 years ago when that guy bought 2 large pizzas for 10. 000 bitcoin. Look. A boat full of white people. Let's see what they want. One more drink. Jean-Jacques Rousseau. In his book Discourse on Inequality said. The first person who. Having enclosed a plot of land. Took it into his head to say this is mine and found people simple enough to believe him was the true founder of civil society. I think most of the atrocities ever committed by humanity can be, in one way or another, traced back to this guy. Sounds like a stupid book. Ownership doesn't come from simply claiming things. It comes from cultivating them. The first person who ever worked to make a piece of land yield crops had every right to keep people who'd simply take them without helping to raise them off that land. That f king fish that crawled out of the water about 2 billion years ago. FCK that fish. When Hitler decided to betray the Soviet Union. That was pretty disastrous for him and thankfully beneficial to the rest of the world. He also ordered the Luftwaffe to bomb civilian targets in England. This caused the Allies to strike back at Germany's own civilian and industrial heartland even harder. So then Hitler ordered the Luftwaffe back to defend the homeland and that put a serious cap on his capabilities. Up until then. The Luftwaffe was key in Germany's blitzkrieg strategy. Without it. They couldn't grab new territory as fast as they were able in 1940. World War 2 is actually full of disastrous decisions Hitler personally made against the own good advice of his generals and advisors. I guess being a speed addicted egomaniac will do that for you. David Cameron's decision to call a referendum on Brexit. Closely followed by Theresa May taking a snap general election and losing her party's majority. Yahoo refused to buy Google for 1 million and later for 40 billion again. Edit. 
they refused 1 million later offered 3B and Google wanted 5B so no deal. And Yahoo was offered 40B by Microsoft and they didn't want to sell and later they sold for 4. If they'd bought it for 1 million dollars they would have destroyed it though. Sharif Hussain trusting the British. Supreme Court Justice Robert B. Tenney wrote the Dred Scott v. Sandford decision. It was definitely the worst decision made by the Supreme Court saying, blacks, had no rights which the white man was bound to respect at it. To not supervise 20 somethings pulling rods out of a nuclear reactor. The Soviet government not informing their nuclear power plants of the defect which caused Chernobyl to melt down and almost destroy all of Eastern Europe. Coming back game 5 only to rupture your Achilles. Declining Hitler's art school scholarship. Europe opening up their borders to mass immigration. Bush's decision to invade Iraq in 2003. There was no cause or direct threat. And it led to hundreds of thousands of deaths. Trillions of dollars spent. And the creation of ISIS. It's just a little ice. Keep going. Apostrophe. Capt of the Titanic. Semicolon. Semicolon. JK folks. Burning of the Library of Alexandria. Removed. My girlfriend just broke up with me. So I wanna say that one. The guy in charge of the art school that didn't accept Hitler. He should have accepted him. Adam. Hey. Baby. I haven't seen you around here before. Me marrying my ex. The British refusing to lower taxes on the Americans as it started the age of revolutions that destroyed almost all the power royals had. Cancelling Firefly after its first season. Caesar crossing the Rubicon. Caesar did nothing wrong. The Republic was corrupt. Franz Ferdinand's driver took the wrong turn. If you believe in the creation story. Eve single handedly doomed all of humanity. Technically it was God who did it. Considering he is supposedly omniscient and thus would have been fully capable of preventing that. Whoever created loot boxes and microtransactions. Seriously. Ruined gaming. The time blockbuster decides to pass on buying Netflix for 50 million dollars in 2005. Deciding to bomb Pearl Harbor. The development of nuclear weapons was probably inevitable. And several situations arose that balanced Armageddon on a knife edge. Many historical decisions could have tipped the balance via butterfly effect. So I take these questions in that light, all those terrible decisions. Luckily. Whoever signed the bill passing prohibition. It wasn't a bill law. It was an amendment. The Serbian gunman who decided to kill Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Myself. Last night. Shouldn't have gone for the burrito. One and a half ghost chili peppers in. My eye itches me. When. Against my better judgment. I opened a kennel to let two angry pit bulls out. Their owner said. Just let them out. They won't hurt you. Next thing I remember is being flown in a medical helicopter to the hospital. Where I spent over two months and had 18 surgeries to repair the damage those dogs did. Yep. Worst single decision in history. For sure. Karen taking the kids. Jawaharlal Nehru. The first Prime Minister of India after independence. India and China were both struggling countries trying hard to make ends meet. Instead of making China a friend. He pushed for a strong policy against them. Then brilliantly decided to start a war that the military was in no position to fight. If not for him. The world would be in a different place today. Instead of having huge militaries. India. China and Pakistan could have developed their respective countries and made a positive impact on the world. Reddit selling itself out to China. Then censoring half of what made Reddit Reddit. I can't believe it hasn't been said yet but the person who decided to attack Pearl Harbor. 
That was Isoroku Yamamoto who later wrote in his diary I fear all we have done is to awaken a sleeping giant and fill him with a terrible resolve. Hum. Here are a few candidates. Sultan Murad IV sending the first flying man in history. Hesftan Ahmad Salibi flying 3 kilometers over the Bosporus in 1638. Into exile instead of putting all efforts into aviation. Imagine some dude coming up with aviation in the most powerful empire of its time. The HBO executive who didn't replace David Benioff and D. B. Wise as writers of the final two seasons of Game of Thrones. Making Diablo immortal. Edit. This is getting so much attention. Thank you kind stranger for the platinum. What? Don't you have a phone?